Miller. 42, Fatal Feline. 47 is Jollywood. 52, Rocky Gold. Number 69 is Susie Hot Dog. Number 747, Hell Broke Loose. 77, Vinberg. Number 79, Torture. Number 9 is Frolich. Number 9000 is Una Nitusen. And number 933, Bose. That's your Norwegian roster for this game. Peter Koenig is the crew head referee for this skating official crew. Um, we've got officials from all over the world, which complement the teams from all over the world. We have announcers from all over the world. We do indeed. There no way. Volunteers from all over the world in general. <laughs> Absolutely. We have no way getting set. A lot of high fives. They're pumping themselves up. I don't blame them at all. This is a, a big game for them on the world stage, taking on one of the world's top teams in Australia. We can't wait to see it un unleash itself on the track for you in a little bit less than a minute's time from now. Yeah, it's early goings here at the 2018 World Derby World Cup, but so far the action has been electric, the crowd has been electric. Been the amazing. lineup this morning, Pants, going around the building just to get in here, uh, it was extensive, um, and they're all packing in here. Uh, we've got four tracks simultaneously, so everyone's going a bit scattered. Like, do I watch this game? Do I watch this game? Do I it's watch so this game? It's so hard to choose. It, there's so much quality going on, so many exciting teams. That line around the block this morning was translated to a line right through the center at lunchtime. Everyone's here just having a blast. The merch has been going crazy, all the teams with their team gear. And we are all set to get going here for the start. We've got Christy Demons lining up for Australia up against Hema from Norway. We have five seconds to go until the start. And we are ready to roll out on Australia versus Norway. Whistle blows and here we go. Both jammers are launching themselves into the back of the pack. And Norway really heavy going there. But one more slip and slide. Christy Demons is through and she's got lead. Yeah, Demons finding a nice opening on the outside of turn one, getting around the pivot at Lingara. The track has been a little bit slippery. It's been interesting watching the jammers trying to race around that first apex and finding it just a little bit slippery, but no one's had a spill that I've seen so far today. Five-point pass to Australia. Action's getting a little slow over by turn two as everybody comes into a big knot. Big drawback happening here, courtesy of Dire Skates. Two of Team Norway heading to the bench. That last one come through is Benny Kill. So light on the pack now for Norway. Still a whole bunch of five-point jams going along as the blockers for Australia recycle the Norwegian jammer. End of the first jam, and it is a very solid 20-point start to Australia. Uh, Kaya Skates offers quad roller skates, plates, and accessories for roller derby lifestyle, park skating, and dance. It's time. Find out more at kaya-brand.com. 216 Moody for Team Australia up against 77 Vinberg. Team setting up at the pivot line, going old school. Two in the box for Norway, all set to get going. Australia quickly moved back to entrap the Norwegian skater at the jam line, take it by surprise as they do. Very nice is. move off that start because they knew it at, they did start with a 4-2 pack advantage and that was a nice move there just to control everything. Very nice to see here Team Norway trying and successfully forcing Moody to the inside recycle on the scoring pass. So she's going. Meanwhile, Team Norway is cycling through the penalty box. One out and one in. Yeah, There's a forearm penalty incurred there by Fatal Feline, number 42 for Norway. We do have Vinberg through on the initial pass, but unable to catch the pack before the jam is called by Moody. Final four points on that one. High fives for all the blockers coming off there. So in there we had Jan and Nuku, we had uh, Lauren Foote, we had a couple of others. So uh, very happy with their work on that jam. 3-5 Burn lining up for Australia, up against 7-9 Torture for Norway. Getting things set for jam number three. Five seconds is the call. Scores 29 to nil currently for Australia. 
Jammer launching himself way in through the middle there. Burn just going absolutely hell for leather. Bounces off, hits the outside and through. She's now looking to engage on the inside. Nice step through, able to slip past uh, the Norwegian blocker, Eda Lengera. So tried to chase her down. Roller Derby Elite, our boots are like pillows for your feet. I believe that too. Unna lining up against Stanton. So all teams so far not repeating a jam yet. Everyone's having a go. Of course, being Team Australia's first game for today. I think it's Norway's first game as well. So we are get, getting everyone on the track and everyone warmed up. Stanton threw very easily on the inside, picks up lead jammer, but also through is the Norwegian skater. Una almost come at a cropper on turn four, but she's picked herself up nicely and off and racing. Yeah, the Australian blockers picking up speed, led by Lorraine Evans, as they all got to the front to save their points. Again, keeping Norway off the board. And that one point will take Australia to 35. Jana Nuku doing a nice clear out there of the Norwegian back line as well. Okay, we now have one four for Australia. Christy Demons lining up against Emma from Norway. So remember, these games here on day one are 30 minutes only. That's right. These, are, these games are being used to set the seedings for the rest of the tournament. Everybody plays twice today. 30-minute games, four penalties equal a foul out. Only also, uh, you can't stop the clock for timeouts and official reviews, and also no timeouts in the last two minutes of the game. Yeah, the only time the clock will stop will be for injury. Christy Demons is through. She's picked up a five-point pass, keeping true to form here. Meanwhile, 4-4-4, four, 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 that's Scarlet Love doing massive recycle at the back. The jammer, Hema, has the panty in hand, or the uh, uh, unit, the uh, helmet cover. I'm going to get that one right eventually. And now it has been handed off to yes. the former pivot, Ed Lingra. That's right. So Ed Lingra doing a jam a couple of jams ago, picked up with a pivot, and now is the uh, jam for Norway. Caught in the middle of the pack, though. Turn one. Oh, nice apex jump and call off. Very nice. And score is currently an even 50 for Australia, nil for Norway. Uh, for those of you watching right now, we are having some technical issues, uh, so that's why you're not seeing the score overlay. Uh, but we have 24 minutes and 20 seconds left on the period clock. Australia up by an even 50. Got Moody coming up against Vinberg. Vinberg stalking the back of the line there, looking for an opportunity. Meanwhile, Team Norway, very nice recycle, the jammer back. So Moody stuck at the back of the pack, very agile movement side to side for Norway. Yep, and she's finally made her way through. The Australian blocking formation at the front there is just so dynamic right now. Mm -hmm. They're glued together and they expand and contract and making things very difficult for Vinberg. Team Norway trying their best offense as well, trying to get it through. And Finberg is now through, but it's a five-point pass to Moody and Team Australia currently. Australia now setting up at turn three. But don't have to do anything as the jam gets called and no further points come in. We're all set for that. It was right in front of our eyes. We were ready to go, but eh, never mind. <laughs> so 55 for Australia, nil for Norway, 23 minutes. Here's a look at the scoreboard left in this game. The Royal Derby World Cup is brought to you in part by the new Rydell Solaris. Solaris, the performance you demand, the comfort you've been missing. Burn lining up against Torture. Was the, both the skaters just agitated, chomping at the bit to get out, and it is Burn fast out of the gates. Lee Jammer for Australia, hugging that apex as she uh, goes through to turn one where she is met by a rampant shoulder. Hell broke loose, unleashing herself upon the Australian jammer, but she just bounced off. She's now through, has a five-point pass. Yeah, both teams have been sticking to a four-jammer rotation here in the early going. Jam getting called here by Ben. Had picked up points previously. No further points are picked up on that jam. Two in the box now for Norway, so they will start with a pack disadvantage. 
Here's that start again as Barry gets rocked a bit in the middle of the pack, comes around the outside and then finds a way to re-enter. Here's another look at the start from the reverse angle coming around turn one. Big hit there coming from Benny Kill. Stanton now up against Una. Una just launching herself at the triangle here, held back by Australia. Stanton is through nice and quickly. Once again, hugging that apex, racing off to get herself some points. Around the outside, no opposition at all. Great work from Team Australia. Team Norway focused on getting their jammer through. Team Norway, though, also having some penalty issues. They had a full box, and that meant that CC Hot Dog, uh, for the direction of gameplay penalty, was sent back on the track until there was a seat available. It's a bit of a revolving door. They're going to want to control some of these penalty issues to keep this margin from slipping away. Yeah, especially if they want to get some points here, because at the moment it's rampant Australia. 70 points against zero for Norway. 21 minutes left in this game. 2-1-6 lining up for Australia. That is Moody. 3-1 for Norway lining up. That is Hammer. Pack advantage still with Australia with one in the box. That's Susie Hot Dog. Nice view from our camera here down the home stretch as we get set for the start of the next jam. Here we go. And see Davy Darko on the inside line. Uh, sorry, Danny Darko. Opening up a bit of space there. Oh. Moody does eventually get through, picks up lead. Every lead jammer status in this game so far awarded to Team Australia. And massive hit from uh, Moody as well as she went through, but she uh, kept her feet very nicely. Meanwhile, Team Norway trying the inside, trying the outside line. Both offensive uh, blockers now realizing they have to set up a defense as well, trying to hold the Team Australia jammer back. They do, and it's only two points for Australia on that pass. Three, we make it now, thanks to the jam ref. It's always good to keep their eyes on all those things. They're doing a great job out there for us today. Let's have another look at pressure. that start here on mm. that reverse angle and uh, see the move here coming from Danny Darko opening up that hole for Moody. So that's, so that's part of why Australia is at 78-0. It's been uh, some really tremendous blocking uh, on that offense. Finberg for Norway lining up against Christy Demons for Australia. Christy Demons works the inside, then the outside, and is through. So far, Christy Demons with 35 points in this game, Pants. Excellent stuff from our Team Australia jam. And meanwhile, Finberg is also through, quickly adjusts the knee pads, and she's off and racing. Meanwhile, the pack is moving, was moving quite fast around. It's now brought to a standstill at turn three. Yeah, see, Christy Demons actually slowing down here and doing a bit of defense as Australia runs into some penalty issues. That's right, three in the box currently. The last two that were standing do get released at the conclusion of the jam, but at that moment, yeah, Christy Demons, very heads up move there, only having one blocker available, decides to run a bit of defense herself. And uh, again, keeping Norway off the board. Score is now 82 for Australia, it's nil for Norway. 18 and a half minutes left in this game. 35, Byrne lining up against Torture. Whistle has blown. Oh, no, nope, here we go. So uh, there was just a little bit of jammer on jammer, just getting position before the whistle blew. Both jammers working hard to get through here. Good work from the Norwegian pivot. That is 1-2, Eda Lingera just holding up the jammer for a few seconds there, making life very difficult for Byrne to get through. She has now launched herself at the back of the triangle, almost brought airborne by the Norwegian defense, but she is uh, now pumping her way through. Yeah, nice lockdown here by the Norwegians mm. on, that on that reverse chevron move. Sidestepping uh, Lindberg, that was... Uh, Baron once again getting through for another five-point pass. And it might be Unna that's in the box now for Norway, so pack advantage again with Australia. Cutting call has been called. No. Okay, there was no call there on that one, but it's now the end of the jam. Referee's having a quick discussion on turn three, making sure what was called was correct. Yeah, 92 points on the scoreboard right now for Australia. 17 minutes and 20 seconds left. Uh, the officials are still congregating. 
uh, on the far straightaway. Sorry, correction, 91. So a mathematical adjustment has been made. 17 minutes left on the clock. So refs still having a quick chat as the whistle blow, but they're very quickly into position once again. Time we, stops for nobody, Pants. Absolutely, especially <laughs> at this stage. We've been on the go all day long. Stanton, meanwhile, picks up lead jammer up against Hammer for Norway in, on the jam line. Norway just can't stop cycling people in and out of the penalty box. One went out and one went straight back in again. So the, the, the uh, four penalty rule could come into play here as we start to wind the clock down. We're only barely halfway through the game here. Yeah, 16.30 left on the clock. Have another look here at this start. Hammer trying to go around the outside. The way is shut, zigging and zagging. Does make it through though. Nice effort there by Hammer. Yeah, able to get the best of Danny Darke. There's not many people who could say that. We've got 216 lining up on the track. We've got Moody up against Una. Let's get going. And very quickly through the blocks on the outside goes Moody. Una, meanwhile, forced to just keep hammering away at the back of the pack. Nice move there from the 217. Benny Kill from Norway. Unable to stop the jammer, but that was a nice mobile block here. We got 08 for. Espelid coming and through, lending a hand, switching from defense, offense to defense. Norway come back and try to give their jammer a hand. Here we go. The uh, helmet cover is in hand, but it hasn't been successfully passed off yet. Moody Miwal picks up another four, or about to pick up another big pass. There she goes. Yeah, and Edel Nguera has been trapped up at the front, had him run some defense and uh, now does receive the star for that's Una. right that was nicely done on the inside able to keep her balance was the norwegian pivot that is once again Edda Lingra doing the hard work there nice poise on that inside line exactly halfway through this game pants uh, australia is now up with 114 points again so far norway has been kept off of the scoreboard Christy Demons now lining up against Vinberg. Old school pivot line start again. See if Australia switches things around, but uh, looks like they're set in their way. It looks like they're trying to trap feet or feline. Make things harder for her. One of the blockers hits the track. That's number nine, Froelich. Triangle at the back from Team Australia is so tight and impenetrable right now as Vinberg is just trying to knife through. Does manage to split things apart. A track cut penalty though issued to Vinberg. This is now a power jam for Australia. Great work by Australia there, forcing Vinberg just to hold that inside, step back on track and make a move. So it is all Team Australia again, another five point pass as we keep going. Team Australia's defense are keeping the Norwegian pack separate, though. They've able, been able to trap Susie Hot Dog at the back. And with that call off, they're going to trap Vinberg in the penalty box for Norway. So this will be a power start coming up for Australia. And Norway is actually going to call a timeout. Mm. It's an opportunity to tell you about Roller Derby City. It's a skater owned and operated merch and uniform company. They are UK based and they ship worldwide. Roller Derby City supplies uniforms and merch for teams, leagues, Roller Derby brands, and events, including all of the merchandise here at the Roller Derby World Cup, as well as individual customized items such as scrimmage tops, officials, gear, and referee shirts. Being skater-owned and operated means supporting the Roller Derby community, and that's at the heart of what they do, and they've been proudly supporting local Roller Derby since they began back in 2010. Thank you to Roller Derby City for your support of this event. Absolutely. Team Australia fans occupying turn four resplendent in their green and gold glittery dresses. It's been fantastic to see so much support coming through internationally. Yeah, 129 so, for Australia. Yep. Less than 13 minutes left. Yep, so remember the clock not stopping for timeouts. So we have 12 minutes and 30 odd seconds left to go in the game. Team's making their way back on track. We've got the power start and they're given off to stand and to have a go. Doing great so far. Waiting for the jam timer. Here we go, five seconds. And we're ready to get started for jam number 15. 
Speaking of 15, that's exactly how many points Stanton has so far in this game. There you go. Synchronicities abound very quickly on the inside. And Stanton is off and racing. Off to go ruin that lovely bit of uh, statistician's paradise, as it were. And Lindbergh came out really hot out of the box. Had a bit of a collision. No calls. So Lindbergh's, Lindbergh is still in action. They're being trapped very nicely. It's almost a, an old school four well for, from Team Australia there, just sliding side to side, able to hold it back. Great work there from uh, the Team Australia blocker. That was 3-5-8. Yana Nuku able to just hold once again for a few seconds. Another nice five-point pass to stand in sheet and comes off nodding ahead, happy with the way that that's gone. So 142 for Australia. 11 minutes, 20 seconds, plus, roughly, on the clock remain in this game. Torture lining up for Norway, up against Burn for Team Australia. Once again, going the old school start. Team Australia just keeping an eye on wh where the Norwegian jammer is. They switch across, and oh, again, that very quick transition from the uh, pivot line to jammer line start actually caught the Norwegian jammer underway as he almost tipped over the line when the whistle blew. Now nice drawback there from 85, Bianca Sharetta. Excellent stuff from Bianca Sharetta. Here we go, another five-point pass for Team Oz. Once again, the Australian team keeping things separate. The star pass looks like it has been affected. The 6'9", Susie Hot Dog holding the helmet cover in her hand. So... It's all happening at the moment for Team Oz. Excellent work there. That is Scarlet Love doing the hard work there on that one, forcing the jammer back to try again. Guy Skates also in the mix here in the middle. Excellent stuff from Team Australia. Now up the front, the two wall up against uh, the, the, uh, the new planner, the new jammer, I should say, Susie Hot Dog. Meanwhile, 4-2, Fatal Feline forces 32 Stanton back. Going to keep going. She's through this time, though. Yep, and the switch here from defense to offense uh, from Norway, not effective as another drawback there. This time executed by Scarlet Love, uh, causing a lot of problems here for Susie Hot Dog. Still trying to get that initial pass completed. So 25 seconds left on the jam clock. Scarlet Love just absolutely occupying the center of the track. An, an absolute wall in herself, unable to just get past her. She is doing a fantastic bit of work there. Danny Darko also in the mix for Team Australia. Fatal Feline, Stanton just getting a couple of words there from the bench as she sets up to go through again. And it's another four points to Team Australia as the jam comes to an end. Yeah, 24-0 jam there for Stanton. Uh, top scoring jam of the game, actually, thus far. We were talking before about the points that Chrissy Demons was putting up, but there are 24 big points coming in for Stanton Australia. There's a quick look there at one of those passes. So 166 to nil to score, eight and a half minutes left in the game. Chrissy Demons back on the jammer line, facing off against Hemmer, number 31 for Norway. And Chrissy Demons through very quickly around the outside. Gets things underway for Team Australia. Hemmer being hemmed in on the pivot, uh, on the uh, apex here. But we do have a hand coming through. I think that was uh, Espelid maybe coming through there. Lending a hand to her Team Norway compatriot. Meanwhile, we have Edelengera to the penalty box. It's actually Norway have cleaned themselves up the last few jams. They've done much better at keeping people on the track. So important, but you're not going to stop someone like Christy Demon. She is hungry for points, and she's coming back for more. Pack getting spread out. I think not quite the no-pack situation, but it was quite spread out there. Christy Demon shakes them off. And here we go again, another one. That is a great bit of defensive move from Tui Leon. Nice O, as we would say, as a lot of people say. Once again, the Norwegian jammer is forced to at least fake the star pass. 
Direction at game play, penalty on Norway. It's going to send Espelid off to the penalty box. Espelid was right in the thick of things, uh, and that's going to be a loss on the track right there for Norway. Star pass affected, but the whistle blows the jam dead just as the star pass was completed for Team Norway. Yeah, so, yeah, Edlingera just finished... Um, you know, that initial pass at the very end, but to no avail. And we now have a new high scoring jam for the game, the 30 points that were just picked up in this one by Christy Demons. So the Australian jam is just going toe for toe here. Moody up against Unna with Norway with two in the penalty box at the moment. So we're back to the same situation we're in a few jams ago. Team Norway up against it from the opening blast of the jam timers whistle. Six and a half minutes left in the game. Australia has 196 points, and they've been pitching a shutout thus far. And it's been uh, interesting. Uno took the jammer uh, helmet cover off just as the pivot was being sent to the bin. So she's still got that helmet cover in hand, but she's got no one to hand it off to. Meanwhile, it is just all moody. As she goes around to pick up another five-point pass. It's a nice offense coming in there from Susie Hotdog. But the way is shut very quickly against the jammer. It looks like Danny Darko in, in the midst again, once again opening up a line for her jammer to get through. These Team Australia blockers are doing an absolute tear. Yeah, Moody now with 55 points on the game. So we've got Stanton now up against Vinberg. Just one in, one in the penalty area at the moment for Norway. The pivot, and she's up on the she's up on the <laughs> up on her skates, ready to get going. Whistle blows. Here we go. Stanton is off, and so are Team Australia. They are racing back to recycle two of the uh, Team Norway players, including the gem of Vinberg. Oh, nice. Little attempt at a, l a little jump through from Vinberg, but it's just caught by the Team Australia blocker. I think that was Tui Leon again. Yeah, Tui Leon just closing the door on the inside line, keeping the toe stops and landing in bounds. Lorraine Evans taking a rare penalty for Australia. Maybe just a, a, a cut, I think that was, but it would have been very close. Meanwhile, the helmet cover for Team Norway is lying on the ground. Vinberg picked it up and barreled through. Oh, but Vinberg <laughs> picked it up and was not allowed to. No. So she's now been sent to the uh, penalty area, and we are just uh, looking at it. another Stanton five-point pass. She gets another nod from, the, from her uh, benchies, and she's off again. Calls it off. And that's another one. So that's another five. That's 25 points on that one. And the score currently a lot to not very much. Still pitching that shutout, as we yeah, say. Yeah, under four minutes remaining. 235 for Australia. No points for Norway. Less than four minutes to go. Have a look here at Vinberg on the left of your screen being taken back. Oh. Head over heels there is Baron on that pass. That was pretty amazing to watch. Here we go. So we have one fall for Team Australia. That's Christy Demons again, off and racing. She's on a solo tear at the moment with the power start. Team Norway looking to catch her out, but Team Australia blockers just splitting that pack very effectively. It just gives her a series of one-on-ones one -one to get through. Yeah, and, and uh, Australia also watching that penalty box like Hawks waiting for Vinberg to re-enter, so she had nowhere to go when she got back on that track. Yep. Team Norway that time combining nicely, shutting the door. That was crazy Norse in the mix there of that one, so that was great defense. Able to stall Chris Demons for not too long, but uh, enough to make her think twice about her strategy to get through. Five more points. And it's another power jam here for Christy Demons in Australia. Track cutting penalty levied against Vinbeg. So lots of opportunity for Christy Demons to add to the totals that she's already been racking up. Well, however, she is going to call this jam. Another five points at the end of it. So it looks like a 19-0 jam for Christy Demons and Australia. 
That what? takes Australia to 254 with about two minutes left. Crazy Norse being pinged for a multiplayer at the end of that jam, so she's sitting down. So two in the penalty area at the moment for Norway, one for Team Australia. So even with one in Team Australia in the, uh, in the penalty box, we have pack advantage and a power start. It's Stanton who's getting things underway for Team Australia, and she's off and racing straight through Lee Jammer. Let's go get some. Yeah, Fatal Feline, Jollywood, and Frolich were the three blockers starting this jam on the track for Norway, totally getting split apart by the Australians, and especially Lauren Foote. Norway able to set that triangle, but you can see Team Australia now just coming in to bust up that solid wall quickly resetting at the front to meet the uh, jammer. And Norway, Vinberg has completed the initial pass and is now in the midst of a, a scoring pass. Norway's getting on the board and this crowd is waking up. And it's a five point pass, way to go Norway. The crowd's gone absolutely insane and the team Australia support is even cheering them on. It's great to see, look at this. Well, Australia down to two blockers, down to one, as one re-enters as Lorraine Evans gets back on the track. But it's Lorraine Evans and Lauren Foote, the only blockers on the track, as the box completely filled up for the team in green. Penalty parade continuing for Australia. Lauren Foote now taking a seat. That's right. So three blockers at the moment, just becoming two. Star pass by Norway has been handed off now to Susie Hot Dog. The Susie Hot Dog is an opportunity here to score, but does not have the star on the helmet. So that is Larray Evans being sent off to the penalty bin. So it's another scoring pass for Team Norway. But, uh, yep, she's pulled the, the helmet cover on, and she's off. We're almost one out of game blocker. time and jam time. And we're out of time. As both the jam clock and the period clock both got almost within sync there at the end. But Norway putting double up figures. all ten, ten of their points in that final jam pants. Uh, quite, quite celebratory. It, I mean, it's not too often that you'll see a team so celebratory if the final score goes against them 267 to 10, as it just did. However, when you are playing one of the top teams in the entire world, as they were in Team Australia, uh, that, that happy ending, as it were, to this game for Norway is something that they're gonna be building on as this weekend goes on. If you're looking for, like we said, Team Australia, bron former bronze medalist, former fourth place at the last two World Cups, there's been a lot of talk, a lot of speculation about their prospects for this World Cup. They want to get a, a, something better than bronze. We're looking at a, a really solid outing for Australia here. They got their offense on. They were able to cycle that defense beautifully. They kept their penalties to a minimum. But in Norway, lots of penalty trouble. But in the end, they did manage to pull some things together. And they, they definitely have things that they can build on from this game and from that momentum. Norway will be back in action later today. Uh, they will be facing the West Indies on the Blood and Thunder track, and that'll be happening at 6.30 p.m. local time. That's right. So depending on where you are in the world, do your calculations to figure out when you can watch them again. Australia will be back in action tonight on this same track, the That's S1 right. Helmet Code track. That'll, that'll be the be last game of the day as well, so yep. taking on Ireland. Yep, that'll be 7 p.m. on this track. And that'll be a lot of fun as well. Can't wait for that action. So 267 to 10 is your final. Australia takes it decisively. Uh, Australia, I think, also trying a few different things in this game. Uh, Sarah Chambers was on the game roster. Did not see Sarah Chambers out with the star once. Didn't see ba Bone Shaker either. Bone Shaker was not rostered for this particular game. That's right. So Australia is also trying a few different things. Uh, but I think both of these teams, you know, they've got some things that they're happy with and some things they want to work on. So. Absolutely. And it's, it's great to see that they've done so well. It's been a great opening game for both teams. It's great to see Norway just loving the opportunity to take on great scenes at the end of the game here on the on the track so we want to say thank you very much to everyone for joining us my name has been pence i'm still mr whistler and we will see you on the flip side